James, um, Nigel Farage is absolutely correct in what he has said about the Ukraine conflict. And there is no question at all that NATO has been uh, goading uh, the Russian Federation and the Russian leadership. And we are the ones that initially broke the agreement between James Baker and Gorbachev that NATO would not move one further inch east. There have been several incursions uh, and breakings of that promise. Now, breaking one's promise, obviously, I understand that uh, broken promises are second nature to the Conservative Party and to the Labour Party. But uh, the British people, on the whole, prefer the idea of keeping to one's word and honouring one's promise. It's a very dangerous situation where you have a government that is so uninformed as to geopolitical situations and why things actually came about in the first place. Uh, and that these people are in charge of our foreign policy. Now, uh, it's actually not that difficult to find out uh, what has occurred in relation to the Ukraine. Uh, most people in this country actually know full well that the West started it. And uh, they know full well uh, that we have been funding essentially what is a Slavic genocide. The reasons for that run very deep. But let's not pretend uh, that the facts are not known. And let's not keep pretending that it's okay to break one's promises. It is not. A man's word is sacred. A country's word is sacred. And we, as NATO, broke our word to the Russian Federation and to its leadership. It's about time we owned up to it and took responsibility for it. Now, I don't expect this government to acknowledge this because the idea of keeping one's word is almost anathema to the people that currently occupy Westminster. But there is an election coming up and we're all watching you and uh, my personal opinion on this, for what it's worth, is that the British people would do very, very well to vote for a leader that has predicted correctly for many, many years what uh, will happen in Ukraine. He said it in the European Parliament several times. The track record is very clear. Part of leadership is the ability to predict. And I predict that if we do not uh, start being truthful with ourselves about what happened in Ukraine, and if we do not start to try to achieve a peaceful settlement and to start communicating about peace, then we are being led by the nose into a war which will end up as a nuclear exchange and will result in the end of life on this planet as we know it. If you think that that is smart, if you think that that is clever, well, then that's up to you. I think it is highly, highly irresponsible. And I believe that as a nation, if we give our word, if as NATO we give our word, we should stick to it. But perhaps I'm just old-fashioned.